Feliz Navidad. Ta-da! It's amazing. Where are the arms? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lana. It's so comfy. I just need a blanket right now. Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing something different. I'm going to be unboxing something that I got for my studio. I've been wanting to get one for a very, very long time because as you may see, when I do my videos, I record mainly on the floor because I do feel very comfortable on the floor. But lately I've been feeling some back pain. I think this is also going to be helpful for you guys and your home as well because it's something super versatile and functional as well. And I got this from Amazon and I'm gonna leave the link for you guys in the description. And this is not sponsored. I bought it. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you like the video. So let's begin unboxing it. I'm so excited for this. All right, one, two, three. Oh my goodness. How am I going to get this out of here? We don't know. Oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> oh my goodness, the fabric is amazing. Ta-da. <laughs> I think you can tell what it is. Oh, this is soft. Love it. Let's turn it sideways. Do we have to read how to unbox it? No, right? So this is what I got, a armchair, but it's a special one and we are gonna get to that in a minute. So now let's put it together because <laughs> I have to assemble it now. Let's go. I think the things that I need is inside here. So let's pull this. Where is the side? Is it going to arrive in two parts? Because where are the sides? I just have the body. I need the sides for the arms. And where is it? Hmm. So I guess I have to wait for the other box and then I'm going to continue the unboxing with you guys once the arms are here. Where are the arms? So I have the other box right here. It actually arrived one day after the other box, but I didn't have time to finish recording because I was going to travel to Scotland. I did and now I'm back so I can continue the unboxing. And now it's actually 2024, so happy new year. I hope you had a lovely holidays, a lovely Christmas, and I wish you all the best for 2024. And also thank you so much for being part of this journey with me. Thank you so much for all the support, everything that you guys do for this channel to still be here, to still be alive. It's all because of you guys. So thank you so, so much. So now let's continue with the unboxing. So I guess that these are the arms, so, <laughs> because that was the only thing that it was missing from the other box. So let's do the opening of this one. You eating my stitch marker. Ta-da, the arms. I think I have now everything here, so let's put it together. And Lanisi, it's already being Lanisi. I think this is going to be her new bed, right, Lanisi? Because she's already jumping everywhere. So, yeah. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to add the feet. Lana, please don't. Don't scratch my sofa, please. This is not very affectionate, but she's a good cat. She's a very good cat. Nelanisi? She doesn't like being held. It's just like two minutes max, you can see. Hmm? And then I let her go because I don't want her feeling stressed. So yeah, that's my life right now with Lana, making her learn to cuddle. <laughs> so this is the first arm and the other arm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lana! Tag not to be removed, but it looks like this. 
I'm gonna remove it. All right, so next step is to add the little wheel to the other part. They have sent the little tool to screw that in place so that it's really helpful. Thank you, because I don't have this <laughs> at home. Done. So what is the next step? And now the next, and actually the last thing that I have to do is to put the arms in place. How quick was that to put it together? I am impressed actually. And the coolest thing about this one is that one side comes with a cup holder because I love tea and coffee. So I'm definitely going to be using this. And then on the other side, there is a USB charging spot. How cool is that? Because I am definitely going to be on my phone while crocheting and sitting on my new one sitter sofa <laughs> so let's put the arms together so i'm gonna do this one first on the right side is it meant to be like that <laughs> i'm confused okay it is connected all right we just have to kind of push it in now the other side So as you can see, I just finished adding both arms and here for the backrest, we have three levels. So the first one, it's nice and straight like this. If you want as a bed and then the second one is like this. And then the third one is like so. And then to put it down, you just have to move it forward and then take it all the way down. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So this is the other side of my studio where I have the window and I've always wanted to have a armchair here so that I can sit down and do all my crochets here. So I'm going to try and place the armchair right into the center here. Right, so that looks cute. Now for this unit, I don't know if I keep it like this or here. And then maybe I can put a little plant right there. Let me know what you guys think. Where should I put this? Here or the other way? Here's the plant. I'm now going to plug the USB port. You will need a USB plug like this one. It does not come with one. Now let's test it out. Yeah, it's working. And the other one, also working. <laughs> Ta-da, this is going to be so useful, love it. And now the very last thing is to add the cushion. And now, here's my one-seater sofa bed. That was the very first time me sitting on this armchair and let me tell you it's super comfy so soft and firm at the same time and which is what i love when it comes to sofas and i can already tell that i'm gonna be so comfy crocheting in here i cannot wait oh my goodness this is so comfortable and this cushion, it's actually the perfect combination with the sofa. I'm so happy that it came with it because it actually covers the space that it has from your body to the sofa, the corner space that you have at the back. So the cushion actually covers that and it makes it super comfortable. Yeah, I just want to stay here right now. It's super comfy. So this is the first option you have just as a normal armchair. You can actually fit two people in here. So me and Lana, we are going to stay here the whole day crocheting. I can already tell. <laughs> so I'm going to now turn this into a lounger and let's see how comfortable that is. So if you want just the back lowered, but just as a sofa like this, you can, so you can just change your sitting position and you're going to be a little bit more comfortable but now we can open the bottom and turn this into a lounger so it's going to be 
so much more comfortable because then we are going to be having support for our legs and they are not gonna just stay like this <laughs> and now let's open it and i'm opening it for the first time with you guys oh my god this is the coolest thing stop everything we all need one of these in our life oh my goodness <laughs> isn't it so so amazing i'm actually speechless because this is exactly what i wanted for my studio let's try it out together shall we shall we <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness this is so comfy this is so comfortable i can already see myself crocheting here this is everything i have ever wanted ah, i'm so happy <laughs> and if you want to rest a bit you can just like this it's so comfy i just need a blanket right now i would take a nap right now right here just like this <laughs> so here's the second option you have the lounger now you can just lower even more the back and you can turn this into a bed for your guests or if you want to take a nap as well just like a day bed so yeah let's do the bed test now <laughs> So now the bed option. Mm. <laughs> I just want to sleep right now. I feel so comfy. <laughs> so because I sleep on a futon bed, I am already used to sleeping on firmer surfaces. So this one, it is a little bit firmer. So if you want it to be a little bit softer, then you can get those. What are they called again? I think they are called mattress topper. And then you can just place it right on top of it and it's also going to protect your sofa as well so buying that would make it a little bit more softer but for me this would work to sleep the weekend or the week if i was visiting someone this would be perfect i did sleep already on something very similar to this and it was perfect so i don't think my guests will have a problem with this one because it's quite comfortable i like it I feel comfortable in here. <laughs> I feel cozy. I think I'm going to sleep. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> now, in relation to the cushion, I really like it. It's super high quality, but I wouldn't use as a pillow. Not because it's not good, but I would just keep this for the sofa. And you can actually remove the cover and you can wash it. I think I might do a cushion cover for this one, a crochet one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because then I can change the cushion cover or when this one is washing, I can use my crochet one. What do you guys think? I think it's a good idea. And I forgot to show you guys, but there are two pockets here on the sides. So on this one and on this other side. So you can keep, I put my charger here already. So you can put your current project, charger, magazines, another one here at the back as well. So that is pretty cool. So now here's my new little corner in my studio. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you think I should add or change anything that i've placed around this little corner i am going to be adding more in the future but for now this is everything that i had into this corner i just wanted to add the armchair so yeah this is how it kind of turned out you will see more of this little corner now here in my videos i've always wanted to have this little space this little corner here because it's just so cozy in here and it was just missing the armchair and i'm so happy that i can actually use for when i'm crocheting when i'm recording videos and also when i have guests around because it turns into a bed so i was looking for something exactly like that that it was so functional so easy to use and easy to put it together it took me maximum one hour to put it together so it's so easy and i did it by myself so 
you can do it too if you are looking for something like this for your house or for your studio i really recommend it it's super cozy super comfortable and it looks really cool right and as you may see on my videos i love sitting down like this with my legs crossed so this is really really nice and wide and i have plenty of room to sit like this and crochet and also that's why i wanted to get a wider one because then i can sit down like this in other positions as well and it feels really comfortable i think this armchair is going to be pretty functional pretty useful especially for me or for you the crochets you have the usb you have a little cup holder you can have your tea you can have your drink your water here with you when you're crocheting and also you have the USB on this other side that you can charge your phone to check written patterns. You can check the videos that you are following, tutorials and other things like that. So I think that is also going to be super, super helpful. Also, you have different ways that you can turn this armchair into so you feel more comfortable in different positions when you're crocheting, when you're doing embroideries, when you're knitting. And if you want to know more about this product on Amazon, I'll leave the link in the description. Also, I'll have some more links in there for different products, for different one-seater sofa beds because they do have some other available as well that I, I was checking out. And this one is the one that I've chosen but maybe you are looking for something else something different maybe without the usb maybe a little bit smaller for your living room or your studio your yarn studio like this one that i have so if you are looking for something like this yeah i'll have some links in the description for you guys and i really hope you have enjoyed this different video of me unboxing let me know if you want to see more videos like this because i always get new things for my studio and for the house maybe you like watching videos like this because i love it so maybe i can share some more with you guys in the future so let's see <laughs> and if you have enjoyed don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one and also crochet tutorials in which is what I do the most here on my channel. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.